the mean street to the National Safety Council. Ooh. I see you out there. 1955. It was a hard year for Wanted street murders. For murder. Ooh. Six beliefs. One. Safety is for sissy. Two. Okay. Two. Oh, what? What is it? Well, hey. Five. five. Okay, I guess we'll come back to two through five. Six. These public they are ideas and beliefs. Murderous beliefs which can mm. lead to tragedy. These beliefs kill more than 80,000 people each year. We can do Enough better to than fill that. a huge college football stadium. Every year there are millions no of people badly hurt. Many of them crippled. Da, 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 da. One of these beliefs may be about to murder you. So look closely. Do you believe safety is for sissies? Yeah. Tom Landry, early days. Man, when I saw you stretched out down there on the field after that pile up, I thought you were hurt real bad. Uh, yeah, could have been worse, though. Uh, you are pretty lucky. Thank you just got a career yeah. ending injury. Yeah, on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, see you. you forgot yeah, to wear your arm held. Pretty good, thanks. Well, tough luck, but coach tells me you didn't want to take time to get a new for shoulder pads when you're starting to go. And I didn't want to I take time out just to play safe. Well, safety is a pretty important thing too, Jim. Maybe, but I didn't. But want I don't to play safety. I play fullback. Well, you proved your point, but I wonder if the price you paid was worth it. By the way, everyone thinks a you're a sissy now because you wear that sissy uh, arm, uh, arm, uh, arm thing. To give us a talk. Are you going to be there? Sure will. I think you'll find it enlightening. Yes. Air Force don't hire no sissies. Here he comes. He's, he's flying into the meeting right now. Legs are sticking out. Whoa! Coming in low out of the rising sun. Uh, what? They can fly now? Well, that's about all there is to it. Any that's questions? All, you're now Isn't qualified Air Force pilot. Well, it does have its moments. But every precaution is taken to see that the aircraft is fit, and the pilots always try and meet any emergency that may come up. Usually we just, don't wear usually we just uh, we certainly do. eject one and front, crash the one plane back. into a suburb. But, well, uh, yes? Well, I thought you guys were supposed to be really brave and... Whoa there, young fella. Ooh. Now remember one thing. There's a big difference Whoa. between bravery and foolhardiness. Sure, I'd rather not be all rigged up in bulky shoots, but I'll wear or use anything. It'll make my job safer. And that goes for all Because I'm a sissy. We're not cowards, but we're not fools either. We've got a dangerous job to do. And the safer we play, you, on the, other the hand, better we can do it. Our coward and a fool. Don't be foolish. Don't safety let death is squat on you on the football field. Stop being a victim of this belief that safety is for sissies. It's a murderous belief. It went to the University of Murder back there. This belief can kill too. Do you yeah, believe accidents happen only when your number is up? The things are determined uh, by red, fate, red, red, come on, or red. just because. That's the way the ball bounces. I can't see where to go. Damn it. One of these girls is guilty of this murderous belief. Judy, this is just what I've been looking for, except in pale blue. If they have it in the right color, I think I'll try it on. Maybe we'd better wait until some other time. It's getting late, and driving home in rush hour is no fun. Dangerous, too. Oh, don't be silly. We'll be all right. If your number's yeah, up, no you'll one get should, hit. And no one should drive you won't. during nighttime anyway. Look, isn't that Bob Prentice across the street? Oh, yes, it is. Maybe he wants to ride home. I'll go ask. Let's get run over in the street. They're just shopping at someone's house. Oh. I guess her number was up. Sue's foolish belief in fate cost her her life. She didn't get killed because her number was up. How do you know? Her murderous belief killed her. Oh, it's, it's, yes, you Here's another can't believe in fate, belief. but believe in, in external murderous fates. Do you believe accidents happen because of a law of averages? Do you believe that a mathematical chance is more important than what you do and yes. actually determines whether or not you have an accident? I do believe that. 
Looks interesting, Dad. What's it going to be? Well, these are the leg pieces for that lawn chair in the do-it-yourself book out there, Billy. They've all got to be the First same size. First, I'm going to beat you and your sister them up, with them. So I'm off to get it. Can I try it? Oh, no. We'll give you some experience with hand tools first. Then you can try the power tools. Mm -hmm. I'll be careful. Yeah, I know. That's what all the guys say. Most of them get hurt trying to do it themselves before they know how. I just saw some figures on that in my math class. Do uh -huh. you know that only 2% of all the people in the country get hurt in accidents? The law of averages yeah. is with me. I won't get hurt. Let me try it. Let oh, me put my hand right into this planer. There. Now oh, we're all set. Hey, where's the guard? Oh, we don't need it for this, Bill. That law of averages you talk about will take care of me. <laughs> Everyone see Dad's finger? Look out, Dad. There's your law of averages for you. Oh, my fingers. This belief doesn't take care of anything or anyone. They're always Many singling out the skeleton the head guy. Pay the price through carelessness. Skeletal bigotry. Bill's carelessness cost him just a hurt hand this time. But faith in the law of averages can be murder. Murder. Put it out of your mind. If there's a 1% chance that you're going to die, this you should probably can stay home. Too. Today, more and more people try to use the hey, price of drink? progress as an excuse for their own laziness and carelessness. For this reason, it's worth for murder. Do you believe accidents are part of the price of progress? Uh, yes. There you are, Mom. All set. Now you won't have to go over to the table to turn the radio off and on. This remote control switch will let you do it right from the sink. Say, that looks pretty good, son. You sure it'll work? Yes, sir. Let's try I not to electrocute wires, everyone. Bypass the switch in the radio and hook them into this switch. Made it myself. Well, it's wonderful to have an electrician in the house to keep us up on the latest scientific advancements. Let's see how your little gadget works. <laughs> Are you all dead. right, dear? Yes, I guess so. But it was quite a shock. Gee, I'm really sorry, Mom. I should have made sure everything was properly insulated and grounded. I guess that's a price of progress sometimes. Nonsense. If you'd been careful and done the job right in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. Never blame well, progress. Your mother might have been seriously hurt. And the price of progress is no excuse. Right. You have to go Don't electrocute your yourself now. on the price of progress. Progress has cut down the death rate in tuberculosis mm -hmm. and is on the way to the conquest of cancer. Here, put this Progress has given you all that you see around you. Oh, in the 1955, they're on the verge of curing cancer, huh? The same attention to safety that we give to progress will give us more progress with more safety. Here's some B-roll of trains. Don't blame accidents on progress when the real blame lies with you yeah. and your beliefs. And put this belief out of your mind, too. The other fellow gives you a hot Accidents dog. don't always happen to the other fellow. Do you believe they do? I just had a big lunch about an hour ago. This sure tastes good. Mmm, I ate a big lunch too, but I can always force down something good. Mom says she doesn't know how I do it. Come on, let's go try those dyes we've been practicing. Yeah. Not me, I'm too full. And you'd better wait a while too. It's not good to go in the water so soon after eating. Yeah, uh -huh. make sure you put oh, uh, old wives' tales in your safety film. That's something that always happens to someone else, not to me. I'm impervious to cramps. Too much and instantly died. Marilyn was lucky. She knows someone now who's had a cramp while swimming, and all she paid for the knowledge was a little pain. Mm. The other fellow Always can turn be down you. Death's hot dog. Stop this belief on sight and put it out of your mind. It can be a killer. Do you think you're lucky? It's a white like stop sign. It doesn't count. Do you see him breeze through the four-way stop at that intersection? If that other car hadn't stopped, the driver's luck would end right there. Smart passenger, he's getting out. Yeah. I'm through right here, Harry. What are you scared of, Johnny? You're driving. That's what I'm scared of. Didn't you see that stop sign back there? Sure, Uber I home. thought, but the other car was stopped. So why should I? Well, suppose somebody came along that figured the same way. He could have plowed right into you. Not yeah, me, well, Johnny. I'm, driving I'm a lucky. 54 I'm not. I'll walk. 
and be sure I get where I'm going. No more racing trains to crossings or going through stop signs for me. This relationship is over. Johnny's words aren't making any impression on Harry. Look at the needle climb up that speedometer dial. Harry is addicted to the thrill, uh -oh, the thrill of life in the curve first. Warning up ahead. Look out, Harry. That curve's sharper than you think. Get out of my head, narrator. <laughs> oh, don't about the zero real quick. Oh, and you hey, die with his hands dirty. Lucky is another name for foolishness. Anytime you believe you well, feel yeah, lucky. Yeah, I crashed my car because death grabbed it murder. and threw it into the guardrail. It can happen to you unless you take these six beliefs and throw them out of your mind and out of your life. Wanted for murder. Six beliefs. The belief that safety is for sissies. That no matter what you do, your number oh, will I come up. Oh, I gotta get back to Daddy. The belief that you're protected by some dream called the law yeah, of averages. Oh. The belief that accidents are the price of progress. The belief that accidents only happen to the other fellow. The dummy. And the belief that an accident can't happen to you because you're lucky. What can these six murderous beliefs promise you except a moment of carelessness followed by tragedy or death? Blot them out of your sight and out of your mind. And now You'll our feature presentation. Longer. 